February 19th. My eyes feel weird, like they're being freeze-dried and sucked back into the sockets of my skull, like a like a caffeine headache precursor as I hoover back my third Americano of the day. Like they have seen too much. Been around the block and around the bend, bent and bundled and rent and spindled and sent postage paid back to the address for which there is no return. Spurned and burned, I learned the gut-churning truth, gruesome as it is. We made the technology, applied it to ourselves, and have device devolved the trait of consideration right out of our nature by nurturing a narcissistic, self-loathing, self-serving, self-centered, self-involved, macroscopic massacre of the concepts of care, grace, and graciousness. I think he masturbates. Yeah, you know, that's when the grunting happens. Not the strange friction sounding coughs. I can see it. You know, man handling himself. Eyes bulging like his penis, dis distended and, and, and then perched atop his blunt ended tusks like two ocular lollipops. <laughs> you know, him snuffling and grunting like an old Portuguese man whacking one out on a tourist covered beach, palsied with need and not caring a damn who knows it. The room is mercifully done. Right? At least the sound of spastic construction have stopped. Vlad said three and a half weeks ago that he the thing was rented in advance. He just had to get it finished for February. It's February 19th. <laughs> Today, he pounded the last nail and screeched the last piece of furniture across the floor yesterday at about 10 in the morning. I suspect the interested party found another place. I mean, ro Toronto is having a robust winter. I mean, it's like minus 30 today with, with a wind chill and a, and a mercilessly blue sky. It's, it's just crystalline, you know, like, like you're actually inside an icicle. Insanely beautiful. And I, and I find it bracing, but not the kind of weather to be riding out on the streets of Toronto, you know, waiting for Vlad the Limp Nailer to finally get the round of pounding the walls into place. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, I'm even hopeful at the prospect of new floor mates. I'm beginning to feel vulnerable. You know, the marrow curdling sounds of the maniac on the other side of the, of the wall are becoming less guarded or more confident. And I, I haven't seen Angela for days. I miss, I miss her. And I worry. She, she could be hiding, afraid to come out and clean. That's, that's what she likes to do. I often run into her in the, in, the, in the kitchen, stacking the newly washed dishes, or, or hear her scrubbing away in the bathroom, right? But, but the simple sounds of her, of her domesticity have faded. Damn him. The solitude, the sheer proximity to his sweaty, heaving form is, is starting to wear on me. I, but I, I am not idle. No, no. I waited until he was out yesterday and drilled a small hole. Bless the laddie and his absent-mindedness. And it, and it is a heavy-duty Black & Decker model. It's very sturdy. Uh, through the wall, I used the slimmest bit I have. And, and while the sound is now a little less muffled, and thus slightly more chilling, the hole is, is, is too small for me to see through much more than shadows, which are, which are frightening enough. But I, I, I dare not use a larger drill bit for fear he, he notices my hole and then and, and, and starts looking back. His, his malevolence is palpable. It's enough without having him ever having seen me, and I can't let myself become a target. His canine brain fixing on me with carnivorous intensity. If he is eating, poor Angela, and I, I have, I've smelled nothing, well, there are several Tupperware containers of stew in the communal fridge. I, I almost want to taste one to see if I can tell. But anyway, then he should be satisfied for at least another week. She was a well-endowed woman. I mean, my own stores are running a bit low, but as he seems to sleep during the day, I should be able to make it out to the supermarket this morning. The sun is only an hour from rising, and then I can hear him settling into what I, I assume is sleep, snoring only marginally better than... A conscious grunting and smulching as he as he chews her lonely bone. 